Egypt. Egypt is supposed to hold a referendum on a hotly disputed constitution. Today, thousands of people have come to the presidential palace grounds to protest President Morsi and his decision to hold a referendum. The presidential guard has built a wall of concrete blocks to try and prevent people from coming. Protesters came early on, moved some of the blocks away, and now thousands are streaming across and going to the other side to protest at the palace wall. Protesters are continuing to take down these massive concrete blocks. They've improvised a chain and pulley system here, which they attach to the blocks at the wall, and they're trying to clear it to let more of the people through easier. My name is Rawia. I'm here because I'm against the president and I'm against his uh, decisions and against what he's doing in Egypt. And I'm not going to vote because I won't give him the legacy. And uh, of course, this will go down. We will, will not pass it. We will not pass it. Is this your first time to protest? I am protesting from the beginning of the revolution. We didn't do the revolution for those people. We do the revolution for all the Egyptians. My name is Peter Gattas and uh, I'm here today because the president is acting by just himself. He, he supposedly three authorities in this country. He is the sole dictator of this country. He wants to force a constitution on us that nobody wants. Clearly, if the presidential palace is surrounded by all those people, clearly the people will not abide by this constitution. We're just a few feet away from the palace walls that are covered in graffiti. And over here on the grassy part, uh, hundreds of people have set up tents where they've been engaged in a sit-in protesting the president. We're going to talk to a couple of them and see why they're here. I'm sitting here with one of the people who's been engaged in a sit-in. I'm going to translate what he says. He says, how can there be a referendum uh, when there's millions of people who don't agree with it on the constitution? And he says, people in all of the governorates of Egypt do not agree with this constitution. He's criticizing the president for holding the referendum on Saturday while there's no stability in the country and there's protests in the streets. And he says if he holds this referendum, then the president himself is illegitimate. That's just one of the protesters here is doing a sit-in. Let's walk over to the palace walls over here where there's tons of graffiti and tons of soldiers which are protecting the presidential compound. Yes, good, yes. We're right by the palace walls. This is the site where hundreds of thousands of protesters came last week. They were kicked out by the Muslim Brotherhood who painted over the walls, whitewashed them. Protesters came back to put graffiti all over them again. There's uh, guards, from the, there's soldiers from the presidential guard who are stationed here along the walls. And there's graffiti of all kinds. There's stencils of people who have been killed in the revolution. Uh, there's words like batil, which means illegitimate, with pictures of Mohammed Morsi. And the walls are just absolutely covered. Uh, there's tanks as well that are here. Uh, the military has been called in to secure the referendum, uh, but it seems there's no antagonism between the protesters and uh, the presidential guard so far. Tens of thousands of protesters have come here today to make their voices heard. They have many grievances, but one common theme. They're against the president's decisions. I'm Sarah Tadros. I'm here today because um, we're objecting to Morsi and his rule. The way he's running the country is absolutely unacceptable. The way that he's um, making us vote over the Constitution on the 15th is not lawful. So he shouldn't be doing that to start with. So that's why we're here. And that's why we're here is because on Wednesday, all the, for all the people that died here, that were hurt and that died in this place because of the way he's ruling this country. Are you going to vote on Saturday? I'm hoping it's going to be delayed, but if no action is taken and we do have the vote on Saturday, I do have to do my part and go vote. My name is Miriam Zaki, and one of the reasons I'm here is because I simply find it outrageous that the constitution that they are trying to pass to the Egyptian people is not in accordance with any 
any of the international standards. I mean, we've been raised in Egypt to believe in democracy, to believe in freedom, to believe in equality, to believe that Egypt is for all Christian, Muslim, women, men, children. We went down to the streets and made a revolution and we're paying with our lives every day and the quality of our lives every day in order to find more equity in society, to find more justice in society. And nobody is saying anything about the outrageous human rights violations that occurred just last week here. I mean, people were abducted, people were tortured, women were just, I mean, they, I can't tell you what they do to women. And it's all politicized and it's all organized and women are targeted and they are doing this just to scare us. Are you going to vote on Saturday? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with the majority decision. If the majority decision is not to vote, I will not vote. But if they decide that we all go and say no, then we will all go and say no. Protests like the one we're at today have been going on for three weeks now, ever since President Morsi's November 22nd constitutional declaration. Not just in Cairo, but in governorates across Egypt. People are hitting the streets. They've been against the constitutional declaration. They're against the draft constitution. And now they are against the referendum that is being planned for just three days from now on Saturday. President Morsi has chosen to double down on his plans and is deciding to hold the referendum over the opposition of many in the country. It remains to be seen what the outcome will be, but the splits that are happening from this division may take years to heal. For Democracy Now!, I'm Sharif Abdul Qudus with Hani Masoud in Cairo, Egypt.